Seven tips to have an amazing Halloween party on a budget. Check it out. This is going to be awesome. My monster is attacking me. <laughs> Happy Do you want to throw the most amazing Halloween party in the world? Keep watching. I'm going to show you how to do it amazingly on a budget, huge groups, something for everyone. You're going to learn a ton in this video. Check it out. All right, we have the Dragon Slayer. Hey, hey, looking good, buddy. Looking good. Okay, we have these two ninjas here. Oh, what's your name? My name's Camry Ninja. Camry Ninja, and you? Lulu Ninja. Lulu Ninja. Okay. Julian, there's a ghost on your back. Ah! Ah! <laughs> tip set a date time and location some thought really does need to be put into this when you set a date you need to choose a day that's not going to be jam-packed with other Halloween events there's always events at school at church um, other parties I'm having a party today it's in about two hours it's gonna happen and it's the 21st so this is two weeks before Halloween and I don't want anything getting in the way of the party because it's a long party starts at four and goes till 10. So I wanna make sure everyone has time to come, eat, decorate their trunks and not be in a rush. So when you're picking a date, um, it's a big fun holiday. Everybody's planning stuff. Double check with people in schools to make sure you've got a good date. And you could do Friday, Saturday, but sometimes even during the week is fun as well. The only thing you need to remember about time is that the younger the kids, the earlier you want it. After that, it just depends on your theme and what you want. I'm doing a trunk or treat, and that needs to happen after the sun goes down, um, cause that's when it's dark and when the Halloween lights look pretty. Halloween is a great time to be expressive, have fun, dream up, whatever, scary, sweet, Disney. Um, it's just super fun. So you have the chance to be creative and choose a good theme. Themes are important for parties because they set the tone. I've been to witch parties where everybody dresses up as some sort of witch, be it be the white witch, the sea witch, black witches, I mean, all kinds of witches. It was just a super fun party. And I do trunk or treats. Sometimes it's just pumpkins and fall, like very tame Halloween, not spooky at all for the young ones. That theme, get creative, but use it. It'll help you get organized. It'll help you stick to your budget and the parents will appreciate knowing what to expect. Setting your budget is super important. It's gonna be one of the most important decisions that you make. So for me, my budget is usually the cheapest as possible. So I have some tips on how to decorate for as cheap as possible and also the food. Halloween is awesome because you can definitely get away with DIYing everything. You can do it yourself, make your own in almost every situation. I made these huge monsters with some black tarp, some twig arms and a mask, big huge face that I bought. So you can Pinterest DIY a lot of things. 
The dollar store is super important. You definitely want to utilize the dollar store. We're here in Brazil. We don't have a, a dollar store here, but I'm always mindful of it when I go to the States, especially if it's in the fall. I literally will check a bag of dollar store goodies, which I did do, and I'll show you my table in a little bit. Um, but the rest you can do at the dollar store is two crucial components to really setting the mood on a budget is gonna be lighting and music. So it's worth investing in one or two strobe lights, turning off all the lights, maybe getting a couple red light bulbs is all you need. You can definitely change the whole vibe, change the whole energy and setting and feel of your house by just putting in a couple of red light bulbs and turning off all the other lights. So you can really set the tone without a ton of decorations if you play with lighting. And if you, you know, you can invest in a couple and then save and reuse every year, that's really nice for as far as lighting goes and like strobe lights and stuff. The other thing is music. You gotta have a good playlist. I, there's a couple of cool Halloween scary playlists on Spotify and also um, Apple Music. I make my own cause I, love Halloween music and I work out to it and I listen to it all year round so so you can totally like change the whole vibe of your party with things that are inexpensive which are music and lighting if you are a Halloween enthusiast and you know you're gonna have a party every year like I do this is my third annual huge Halloween block party make sure you pick up those Halloween decorations at the end of the season after Halloween so that you can get it on a discount. That's gonna be probably the best thing you can do is get those deals after Halloween and save them for the next year. It doesn't matter what it is because you'll use it. You'll find a way to be creative. And if it's something cool, you will find a way to use it, but make sure to check those deals after the season. All right, the wind is really helping my, my little monster guy come alive. So one other thing that's really important about decoration and theming is really encouraging your guests to dress up. This is an important part of participation, kids and adults. Adults can dress up simply, but when everybody's dressed up and the lights are off, you have a Halloween party. So really make sure that people come dressed up. The kids love it. The adults, maybe not so much, but encourage them, dress up yourself. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be anything big, but when everybody does that, it again, adds to that spirit of Halloween. It adds to that vibe and it helps the whole area, whether it's your house or the street, come alive and you've got this great Halloween party when everybody dresses up. We got Ghostbusters. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Hey there. Hey, uh, where are Okay, we're still on the topic of budget. So should you charge for your party? Yes and no. So if you're having a small party, you're able to get your stuff from the dollar store and you guys are able to do a potluck, I wouldn't recommend charging. But if you are planning a huge event and you're gonna be providing food and drink, entertainment, I would say yes, because there's a lot of added, a ton of added extra cost to that. And people wanna come and have a memorable Halloween experience. So if that's something you wanna do, I would definitely charge. In my case, that is what I do. This is my third annual block party trunk or treat. And I provide circus acts. I'll have five performers tonight, fire breathers. I also do all the food and the drinks. We have kitchen staff, we have bounce houses. So there's a lot going on. And this year I charge $10 for adults. $6 for kids, or in Brazil, that's 30 highs for kids, 50 highs for adults. There are a lot of foreigners coming to my party tonight. So we get to, I get to share my culture and my love for Halloween. So I do this for fun out of, you know, my heart. So I keep the costs um, as low as I can, and I just charge just to cover that. Uh, and it covers it nicely because I have a large group co coming. So if you're just doing a cover charge to cover all the costs, you wanna make sure you do have a large group so that all of your costs are actually covered, but it's still affordable for everybody. So make sure that if you're gonna go big, go big. So you're inviting your classmates, uh, church groups, sporting teams, your neighborhood, your friends and family. If you're gonna throw a big party in charge, make sure it's big so that everything gets covered. Otherwise, I would say keep it small and passionate and bring your closest friends together, play games, create a theme, and just celebrate Halloween in a way that makes you feel magical.
party food on a budget. If you're feeding a large crowd, there are some good ways you can simplify. And this is just what I've done. I suggest Googling it, see what others do. There are part party planners you could research, but what I do is I keep it really simple and I offer a ton of fresh fruits and vegetables. That's easy because it's affordable. It doesn't take a lot of refrigerator room. There's not a lot of prep except for washing and cutting. You don't have to cook a ton of food um, and it's healthy. And for me, I love to serve a healthy meal on Halloween because after dinner, the kids eat tons and tons and tons of candy. And so I like to keep it healthy. Um, you, you can serve a ton of people. You can buy fruits and vegetables in bulk. And I like to serve it in really cute dollar store serving trays. Um, that's what I do. I'm not a big Halloween foodie person. I don't have like the time or the, the um, creativity or even the skill to do all the cute fingers and eyeballs and all those fun things. So I like to have cute serving trays and just do healthy food. So I would suggest fruits and vegetables. And then here in Brazil, we eat salgados, which are yummy little ba baked, fried, breaded things. Um, so those are affordable and I was able to buy a lot of those in bulk. And then also I did a cheese tray and a meat tray. And then I also made a bunch of dips like Thai dipping sauce and ranch. And um, yeah, we end up having a really good spread, chips, crackers, chips and salsa, bean dip, all those things like really fill a table and really fill people up. And it's simple and affordable and everyone's happy and it's healthy. And then after that, I don't, so I actually don't even really serve dessert. I just let the trick or treating and candy take care of that. Cause no matter how I try to control it, my kids just eat all, almost all the candy like the first night. Um, so I don't even do dessert. That's just what I do. I keep it healthy and simple. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of how we decorated my yard and show you what it looks like before the party and after. This year we decided to go with spiders. So we bought a bunch of spider webs. We, I have a mannequin, believe it or not, and we wrapped her up with white cloth and spider webs and then put spider webs on her. These are all spiders I used last year. Uh, these tables are so cute, I think. I've been using these tablecloths for years. I made these pool noodle um, centerpieces. They're just pool noodles. Uh, I made these last year. They were so fun and I still love them. So we're using that again. These are dollar store bowls and um, in a minute, I'm gonna open all these candy corns and fill all the little bowls with candy corns. But uh, I got these, just two table runners this year. Got them on clearance. I got these at Kohl's on clearance, these spider web placemats. We've got plants with pumpkins. I had those heads from last year, stuck them in the tree. Uh, this creepy cloth and all these bits and pieces are all from the dollar store. Uh, had those, these strip lights for years and actually never used them. And this last year, I just decided to put them up. Uh, these Lonas, like the, when, the, when the lights are off, um, really change the vibe of my patio. So I have this um, covering everything. It looks really cool when the lights are off and we just have the strobe lights on. So here's some of my decorations. I'll show you a little more when the food comes out. This is beef cloth. I bought two, I brought two rolls from the States. I wish I brought another one, but we cut holes in it and stretched it and made it look like spider webs. And this looks really cool with a blue light on it. So you'll see it tonight.
You guys, I'm having the time of my life. I'm obsessed with Halloween and this is my dream. I'm in heaven right now. I'm just in heaven, that's all. I'm in love. I love Halloween with my whole heart. Halloween is my Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. It's the best time of year because you get to be whoever you want to be. Dream up whatever princess, queen, crazy thing ever and you get to be that. I love it because it's a time for creativity and a time for a party and celebration. And I just love that all these people have come together <laughs> to celebrate with me. Ah, I can't even tell you how happy this makes me. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you for joining me on this amazing holiday experience. My third annual Halloween party, and I will be doing it again.